Welcome to another great day here on the beach at Kiwana, Queensland, Australia. The heavens are declaring the glory of God and speaking to us and our hearts are so full of thanksgiving and praise. Let's magnify the Lord together and continue on with our series, The Glory of God. I want to share with you about having an encounter with God an encounter that will change your life forever. I was saying to Rosalie this morning, oh, how we need a fresh encounter with God. Over the years, as we've walked with the Lord, we've had various visitations in our life that has really affected us. I mentioned last week the one time that we had an encounter with God in Papua New Guinea. And many of those students that felt and knew the presence of God in such a way after they had graduated from Bible school, they went out into New Guinea and began to pioneer churches. Sometime later, Rosalie and I had the opportunity to visit some of these churches. And it thrilled us to know that that particular night when the Spirit of God just seemed to fall upon them, it changed their life forever. When the glory of God is manifest, it certainly gets your attention. We mentioned before, it can be weighty, it can be heavy, it can be a presence of the Lord. And how we need that fresh anointing on our life today. Sometimes it can come unexpectedly. Like in the book of Acts in chapter 9, when Saul was breathing out murder and threatening against those that were following the way. And he was on his way, but to Damascus to bring back the Christians bound in chains to Jerusalem. And suddenly, there was a light that came from heaven and a voice that was saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? This divine visitation and encounter with Jesus threw him to the ground. Saul was blind, but he answered the voice and said, Lord, who are you? I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. This encounter changed his life and changed the course of his life forever. We're having a brilliant sunrise this morning and that sun is beginning to blind me too. But who can stand the actual presence and the brilliance and the glory of God? Let me share with you a surprising encounter which happened to me over 40 years ago. The surroundings were not like the Apostle Paul's, but in an old tin shed, smelly, hot, and full of pigs. And I was shoveling you know what and just throwing it outside the shed and making it clean for the pigs inside. And a voice rang in my heart and it said this, Establish Antioch. It kept ringing, I didn't know where it came from. But the voice was saying, establish Antioch. For days, for weeks, months, I kept thinking about what I'd heard in the pig pen. I didn't know anything about Antioch, what it meant or where it was. So I began to search the Bible about Antioch and discovered it was a mission base by the ocean where the followers of Jesus were first called Christians. We were living close to the sea and this visitation from the Lord I believe I had begin to motivate me for the next 15 years. And the church that we had became a mission center and recently they celebrated 40 years anniversary. Oh how we need today a fresh visitation from the Lord. We can't live on old experiences. But we need to know God afresh today. We need to experience His presence, His power in our lives. As we read in the book, the Song of Solomon, Let me see your face. Let me hear your voice. For your face is lovely and your voice is sweet. It's good to have a reverent fear of the Lord in our hearts, but not to be afraid of God but to draw near to him, to have a heart to draw near, wanting to hear his voice, 
wanting to see his glory. God loves you so very, very much today. He wants to come near to you. But as you draw near to him first, then he'll come near to you. He wants to lift up his face and shine upon you like this glorious sunrise this morning. We're going to continue on with this subject, but we want you to have a good day. God bless you.